students are back in the classroom and clearly safety continues to be top of mind for everybody. The Dysart School District making a big investment to keep students and staff healthy this school year. Jamie Warren live outside of Canyon Ridge School talking about the air that they breathe. OK, so Jamie, what's happening here? What have they done? So Nick and Kaylee, along with doing their regular cleanings, deep cleans, wiping down surfaces, they have also now installed what are called air scrubbers and they are in every classroom district wide, including here at Canyon Ridge. So the scrubbers remove unhealthy particles floating in the air. The district sending us some photos of the installation process. It cost $3 million to install 2700 of them. The money coming from COVID relief funds. The scrubbers are in every classroom in every office or hallway where an air handler is. That is where you normally see those vents up on the ceiling. Assistant Superintendent Ken Hicks says parents and staff first started asking about additional safety measures last year when they returned to in person and learning. He says the scrubbers were then approved by the district's governing board. He says pre pandemic, this is something he never would have imagined they'd be installing. But now that they are in place, he says this is an investment that goes beyond COVID-19. We always have a flu season. We always have uh, uh, sick times. Um, this helps in that environment. It takes um, particulates out of the air and creates a healthier air. And so, um, so yes, it's going to continue to have benefits going forward, but it's something we didn't focus on too much. Uh, we kind of just did what we've always done. And so this was a good change and a good use of those federal funds. So as for masks, the district says that they are following the law that was signed by the governor that prohibits mandatory masks in classrooms. However, they are strongly recommended. And he also tells me that they recently just added again this dashboard online that shows you how many cases are in each school. So as of this morning right now, there are 130 active cases district wide. For now, reporting live in Surprise, I'm Jamie Warren, ABC 15, Arizona. All right, Jamie talking too about where the money's coming from to pay for things like this. Let's talk about that funding for other school districts because it is being utilized on things like new hiring, technology, air filtration, just like Jamie mentioned, COVID testing and expanding summer school programs. Districts getting $2,400 per student on average, and that money does have to be allocated by fall of 2024.